when I was a young people, and I did this one. It had nothing to do with the... We did the film. Mike Green, shooting, and then we had somebody doing the um, editing. And these guys took over and did the one. So it's nice to have that interest in their part. And they really want to They really want to be part of it. Our next trip leaves May 15, 2017. So we're in Julian. The 12 year olds, they keep telling us, two more years for me, two more years for me. Because <laughs> it's a 14, it's a 14. We take eight of them, and we have uh, a crew of uh, eight, uh, three captains. We have two chaperones. And then we have an uh, excursion coordinator for looking at the land. And then we have somebody in the kitchen. Elder. Elder, you see the elder there. Uh, my dad wanted to go one last time. He's getting old. So they said, one last time. OK, OK, I'm going to go one last time. So I'm really glad that he made it one last time because his daughter, our sister, uh, he was buried at the um, Bush River. His uh, grandmother is at the um, uh, Kosagan, 30, 30 miles up. And his mother is at Kesachishish. 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 That would be about uh, almost 200 miles up. And his uh, brother is at Bear Island, or uh, in, in the creek. It's at uh, Black River Creek. And it's, uh, I think, about 60 miles from there. You know that this whole family is in the river system. And he wanted to say one last goodbye. And so maybe that happened for him. So we will be taking another, another elder. We haven't selected anybody yet. <coughs> the selection of the uh, students at the time is done by the school. Uh, is there a charge of that? We, we just uh, run the raft. That's our job. And we uh, fundraise. Fundraising. Okay, well, I'm steel. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, the education office so far has given us their, um, the insurance for the trip. Even though we carry bandages, but we never had to use one, right? Never had to use a bandage. It's not a dangerous trip, it's just a big raft of logs, and there's a shelter in it, and there's a cover, uh, 12 bunk beds, kitchen area, and a deck for fresh air. And uh, <coughs> it's pretty safe. We stop here and there. The raft leaves at 6 a.m. and uh, stops at 6 p.m. until the evening. And so that's when it gets. Uh, we we found that uh, if we go over that time, that we can only lose our balance. So we like to make plenty. So it gives them a chance to uh, do bonfires or whatever now. Fishing, they like fishing. And so one rule about fishing, you catch a fish, you got to clean it, you have to cook it, and you have to share it. So basically, so you don't play with uh, the fish. And, um, but there's a cook that keeps track of eating time. And, uh, so the, the cook can uh, coordinate the Cooking, cleaning, etc. Et so they leave at 6 a.m., meaning getting up at 5. And uh, when we get back to the community with that kind of rhythm, we find that the whole community is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> we're all sleeping. We're, we're just getting up at 5. So, questions? Yes? The one slide that looked like a plane wreck? That was uh, an old 1940 uh, air, uh, Army exercises that we uh, mm -hmm. towards Hirsch, at this side of the river, that 
40 miles from it, 40 miles on this side. And uh, so they lost the plane. I think both planes uh, ran into each other and they crashed. As soon as the uh, MNR saw this in 2009, they jumped out of the room and they cleaned the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so films like this, they help. They really help. So you're saying no one knew, no one saw those aircraft and you found them? Except for people. Last year was too shallow. The year before, something was happening. And this year seems to be perfect because we we have to look at the snow that's available, and then we have to go look at Hearst. Now the story, the story is that you know, we're, we're getting a lot of snowfall in the area, in the on Hearst, and one thing we have to that the, uh, the drainage system. So that's what we have to look at. It looks good now, so we're going to do it. Should we say, another film? <laughs> did it say it was a two-day trip? How long? 14 days. <coughs> 14. It's a 300-mile trip. 300 miles. By the time you make it home, it's going to be 300 miles. 14 days. Our shortest trip was seven days. But the kids complain about that, saying, what's the rush? What's the rush? We're missing a lot of land, we're missing a lot of good you know, times. And so we're going to stay with this. So 14 days. How fast is the go? As fast as the river goes. <laughs> we don't drive it, we don't pull it, we don't push it. Uh, the, the boats that you see, uh, they, we use them because when the trade in the channel is like this, got an agony, and it's very long. We have to uh, pull it to keep it from sliding short. I'm sorry, is there anything kind of short? Getting it short. Are you stopped to prevent the short? You just pull it like you're... Um, pull it along, pull it along. Yeah, the monocle. Like along. a dog. Oh, okay. Like a dog. So we just pull it away from the land like this. Yeah. And just a question around logistics. I noticed uh, two universities, uh, natural resources. Just uh, give me a, just an indication on how they all supported the, the project, uh, just as I think of uh, other projects that maybe they could help to solve the problems. Oh, yeah. We've had interest, interest from other, like, University of uh, Calgary. Uh, this interest is other people that want, I think we got, that was the third one, saying, <coughs> how do we get involved? Uh, Friendship Center attendance wants to get involved. So what I usually say in that case is, 
Okay, we can't take everybody, but we will take one female, one one male. Let's take these two over there. Involved. Actually, they're a little bit motivated to go to school. Because they mm -hmm. see a lot of needs, a lot of community development, could be tourism, could be environment, could be water, could be land. You, know, you, know. you see a lot of stuff as they go through it. Some cats didn't even bother cleaning their stuff. So that bothers them. So this is what we're doing. Why we're doing it, uh, we want to do the end and is so they get some, that sense of, uh, or well, remember that we're, we're you know, keeping on everything, protecting the land, stuff like that. And they work in the same school. What are some, uh, a couple things, how wide is the river? Because you always see the Albany River on the National Bond Carrier, so it must be really why? Uh, and second, what are some of the uh, traditional markers that uh, are used to make sure that we're on track going west and then going back? You know where you are. You know where you are. You're going to be where you are. You're going to be where you are. And uh, your knowledge of the, of the channel, you just don't know where you are. Because the, uh, the elders, these are rapids, they just say, oh yeah, a mile down the road where you have to go on the left side. Because there's rapids on the way. <laughs> so they don't, they don't. So we get ready.